Once again, folks, welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. This is going to be part six. And in part five, what we did is we took our keychain and we added some text and then we extruded that text. So we have embossed letters, okay? Um, and they're extruded out of the surface. Now, one little side note uh, that I didn't show in the last video is you can go down here. You can technically, technically also cut the text. So if I were to pull it down through uh, and change this to cut, Okay. One of the things that we could do is put those in there. Now, this is an impossible object in the sense that the computer can create the center of the O, and we could even 3D print this, and it would print exactly like it looks on the uh, 3D printer table. However, the second we peel the keychain off, the bottom or the middle of the O is going to stay behind, so that won't work. Uh, and for the purposes that we're doing with casting, our casting is going to be better if we use the embossed text. So... We're going to go ahead and just undo, bring it back. Now, this wouldn't be a keychain without some sort of ring. And yes, we could go in here and just cut some kind of hole through here and make it. Um, but that would also kind of defeat the purpose of practicing infusion. So what I would like you to do is use your view cube up here in the top right corner and choose the bottom most corner. Now, people get confused when I say corner and they choose an edge of the box. I don't want an edge. Pick the bottom corner. You'll flip your keychain upside down so you can see the bottom. From there, we're going to choose Create Sketch, as we've done so many times before. Top left corner, green plus mark. And hover over the bottom of your keychain and click once, and it's going to turn flat. Make sure you zoom or pan around so that you can get the whole thing on. And actually, we only really need one end. Um, so as long as you have an end here. Now, what I'm going to do first is we're going to create a ring so circle command is our friend. You can either type the letter C or choose the circle tool up here in the top left. And if you recall back to the very beginning tutorial when we were putting that diagonal line on our rectangle, uh, we were following it to find the midpoint. We can do the same thing here with this arc. Okay? So you'll notice I'm following it with my mouse. When I get to the middle, you're going to notice that a little blue triangle pops up. And right there it is. As soon as you see the little blue triangle, click once. You'll have a circle attached. And we're going to set the size of our circle at 0.25. So go ahead and type 0.25 and then hit return or enter on your keyboard. And we've got a circle. Don't worry about the fact that the keychain is hanging out into the circle. We're going to fix that in a moment. The next thing you're going to do is choose your circle tool once again. So again, circle tool in the top left or type the letter C. And this time we're going to hover over that center point in the circle we just created. You'll see a little blue circle or a blue ring around it. That indicates that you are perfectly on the center point. Click once. You're going to move your circle out. And this time we're going to type 0 0.5. 0 0.5. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can hit return or enter. That is all we need to do for this sketch. So pretty straightforward. We can go up here to the top. Top right corner, choose Finish Sketch, big green check mark. And as always, hit your house button. You don't have to have your keychain flipped upside down for this part because we can see the piece that we need, okay, which is that kind of half of a donut shape right there. The next thing we're going to do is choose Extrude. So top left corner, okay, blue rectangular prism, choose Extrude or type the letter E. And that piece that I was just flashing on screen right here, okay, you're going to hover inside of it when it turns gray, click once. Now, if you're paying close attention and you've got some attention to detail, you're going to notice that the blue arrow is pointed down. That is because we were drawing on the bottom of our keychain and essentially our imaginary sheet of paper was flipped upside down. So you are looking at the back side of that sheet of paper, essentially. Because of that, we need to put in a negative number. So we're going to type in minus 0 0.08. So negative 0 0.08. That will extrude the ring up in the correct direction. And then we can hit return or you can click OK in your menu. So I'm going to flip this so you can see it. You'll notice that we've added the ring. All right, so we've got that attached to our keychain. This is not quite enough space in here to put a metal ring. So what we're going to do is get rid of this little center section in here. So one more time, use one of the corners of your cube and flip this backwards. And what you may not realize is that all of these sketches that we've drawn in here are still there. They're just turned off. So the way that we get those back, if I come over here to where it says Keychain 1 and click the little drop-down arrow, 
towards the bottom, you should see sketches. Okay. There's a little eye icon next to it. If I click my drop down menu, what you should be looking for is probably sketch four. Okay. So if I turn that on, you'll see that my donut shapes come right back. That's what we want. From there, we can jump up to extrude one more time. Okay, top left corner. And you want to make sure that you get this little part right here in the middle. So make sure you're not getting the donut shape on the outside. When you click on that, just grab the arrow, pull it backwards through your keychain. It should turn red and click OK. If it bothers you, you can go back and click the little eyeball icon and turn the sketch off. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything if it's left on. And then click your house button and you should have a nice ring added to your keychain.